Hey guys, Giridhar here and today I have with me a lint-free cloth. Uh, I'm not going to review a lint-free cloth, but a lint-free cloth has become a very important part of owning a premium device these days. Reason is such a device. So, uh, so this one is the Honor 8 and it's got a glass back and uh, we have been seeing a lot of devices with glass back and metal rim and that's become the order of design these days and uh, a downside to owning such a device is it's being a fingerprint magnet or it is a slippery device you might want to put a case on it to protect it and there are many downsides to it but still people kind of uh, design and make such phones so anyway we would need a lint free cloth to go along with this because i find myself wiping the device more often than using it so uh, a lint free cloth is definitely a must for owning a device like the honor 8 so let's keep aside the lint free cloth and talk about the honor 8 so this is Kirder and here is my first impressions on the honor 8 Okay, it's just been like two seconds since I held this device and again it's got the fingerprint smudges on all of it. I'm gonna be wiping this. So the Honor 8 is available for Rs 29,999 and it's got a display size of 5.2 inch and it weighs around 153 grams. So it is a full HD display. On the front you have the 8 megapixel camera with the usual set of sensors and the earpiece. We don't find any uh, off-screen navigation keys because the navigation keys are all on the screen and on the bottom you have the USB-C port along with the speaker grill and a 3.5 mm jack. On the right side you would find a volume rocker and the power button. On the left side is the uh, SIM card tray and depending upon the country of your purchase you might find a single SIM or a dual SIM variant. On the top is the IR blaster and the mic. At the back is the magic which is a dual camera here along with the laser sensor and a dual LED flash. So we have this uh, fingerprint sensor at the back as well. The fingerprint sensor on Honor devices have been proven to be very fast and efficient. So I'm expecting the same kind of performance on the Honor 8 as well. Well, talking about the glass back, the glass back is not uh, corning glass protected glass. On the front though, it is corning glass protected, but on the back, it is just a normal glass and it is prone to scratches. So I've been using this device for over three days now and I've already managed to scratch it. The metal rim on the side is unique to Honor 8 because we have seen usually metal colored metal rims, but this one is a blue colored metal rim, which adds the aesthetic of this device. So hands down, the Honor 8 takes the title to be the most beautiful Android device I have ever held in my hand. I can't just talk about the Honor 8 without uh, praising the design here. So it's a fantastic design and I like 5.2 inch devices because it's very, very handy to hold in the hand. I have held and I have used the Huawei P9 and this one is slightly marginally bulkier than the Huawei P9. Otherwise it's got the same uh, form factors to it. And this one is powered by an octa-core uh, Kirin 950 processor, which is a proprietary processor from uh, Huawei. And time and again, it has been proved that a Kirin 950 processor is no less than any Snapdragon or MediaTek high-end processor out there. It comes in uh, four color choices, the pearl white, um, midnight black, the sapphire blue, and the gold. And of all these variant, I find the sapphire blue to be the best and the most elegant design uh, I have ever seen in any of the devices. So the device is uh, powered by Android uh, 6.0 or the Marshmallow and it has 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. So I have found the EMUI to be uh, one of the smoothest uh, software skins in the market and uh, I always enjoyed using uh, EMUI but still uh, it's not anything equal to a stock Android experience. So let's go ahead and quickly look, have a look at the camera UI here. The, and the camera UI is nothing different from what we have seen in the other Huawei or Honor devices. Uh, it's got all the buttons easily accessible on the front face of it and we have different modes like the beauty mode, beauty video, HDR, pro photo, pro video and a bunch of other features. And we also have access to settings from a uh, left right swipe. Okay, so here are the pictures which I have shot right now. So the images tend to gather up a lot of noise and especially I am in a very challenging light condition right now. So but otherwise the color reproduction is uh, kind of spot on.
I found the color reproduction to be inconsistent. Sometimes the greens are green, sometimes the greens are slightly uh, yellowish. Reds are also sometimes faded out and sometimes they are very strong. So uh, it's really inconsistent. That is something which I really don't enjoy in a mobile camera. The color reproduction has to be consistent. But this is my first impressions. I've used this device just for three days and I'm going to be using it uh, continuously for the next few weeks. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel. If you haven't, just click the button below. It's quite easy, simple and fast. And uh, do stay tuned. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any other queries about the Honor 8, do leave your comments below. Until I see you in the next video, this is Giridhar signing off.